next episode, we're sitting here at Foxy Lou's with Utku, who is the owner of this beautiful restaurant that has opened in Byron Bay. Um, very exciting for people that are looking for a bit of a hidden gem in Byron and where's good to eat. Um, this is the place you've got to come to. So Utku, welcome. Thank you so much for meeting with us today. So Asian street food. What is the concept of Asian street food? Tell us all about it. Yeah, well, um, I must admit, we first, uh, me and my partner Leilani, also my wife, uh, we'll talk about her in a bit. Um, we moved to Byron a year ago and um, we decided to, what do we do best, uh, which is uh, a food business. Um, and we looked for a shop front yeah. first because it's much harder to come up with a, a you know, uh, great concept. So we eventually found this uh, hole in the wall in uh, in the Woolies car park and next said, all right, to the bottle shop. Ne next to the bottle yeah. shop, yes. Um, and said, all right, this can work. So we leased it. Um, then we had a few months until the, the, the DA came through. In those three months, we thought about what cuisine would work really well, yeah. uh, considering the um, the shop, we don't have a full kitchen, but you know, we really wanted to deliver uh, really great flavors. and. Asian cuisine was so exciting, yeah. very pungent flavors, fresh, so it was perfect. Definitely. Yes, so of course we we wouldn't do a traditional Asian, we had to, um, you know, uh, just elevate it a bit, a bit of creativity, so uh, we made it a, uh, Asian street food because yep. it's always exciting. And what is Asian street food for those people that don't know, like what type of dishes is, mm -hmm. fits in with that? Um, yeah, just to give a few examples. Um, um, we have uh, great fresh salads from Indonesia, like uh, Garo Garo salad. Uh, I'm sure where we've uh, been to uh, Bali, just yeah. uh, you know, lick those uh, peanut sauces off the bowls. Uh, so yeah. we, you know, we, we have Garo Garo, uh, crunchy, uh, pungent Thai coconut salad, papaya coconut salad. We have the dumplings; they're more uh, Chinese style, but they're all handmade um, here. Yeah. Uh, let me uh, cheat a bit from the menu. <laughs> so we have uh, Vietnamese rice pepper rolls, the perfect, healthy, delicious bites. Yeah. Um, we have bone broth soup. Uh, I've heard that's really made. good. I've yeah. A lot of people I know come here for the bone broth. Yes. So, yeah. It's amazing for your immune system. It's delicious with noodles, very filling, perfect for a lunch bite. Yeah. But our specialty is neither of those. The, uh, our specialty is these. Um, Taiwanese uh, street sandwich is called Gua Bao. Oh, they're good. I've yes. had them. I like yes. them. They're my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> they're really cheeky small steam buns and we load them with uh, lots of um, um, soap of meats, fresh yeah. herbs, house-made sauces. They're packed with flavors. Yeah. Beautiful. Small in size but big in flavor. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and so th that's the concept and now your background, so mm -hmm. your wife Leilani is a chef? She's a chef, yeah. um, she uh, did very creative chefing in, in yachts in uh, in US for many years yeah. um, and when I met her a couple of years ago she, um, uh, she was a, a chef at the cooking school in Sydney, in Bondi. Yeah. Um, and I, um, I, I, I have another restaurant in Bondi, uh, Sefa Kitchen. That's more Middle Eastern, Middle Eastern style. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, fine dining. Um, so when we met, we had so many common interests like cooking and um, dining. So you know, it worked really well. So we said, "All right, let's do something together." Yeah, how exciting to join forces, move to Byron, and, yes. and open something like this. It's yes. pretty, and be your own boss as well, which yes. a lot of people in Byron get to get the luxury of being their own boss, don't they? Yes. Yeah. It's easy great. to romanticize. Uh, sometimes it uh, you know comes with its challenges, but we love it. Yeah. yeah. And what are your hours here? So you, what day, days are you open every day or? We're open every day from 11 o'clock uh, for lunch and dinner. Yep. Um, so, you know, it's, it's nice and busy around here. We, you know, it is, you're in no one reason. of the busiest parts of Byron Bay and, um, and it is BYO with the bottle shop next door as well. Yes. So perfect uh, combo for people wanting that Friday night feed. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 We want to keep it uh, very cheap, accessible, you know, but great value, you know, Lots of flavors, good variety. Not a very big menu, but we make sure we do yeah. everything really well on that menu. And then there is a little, you know, at times there can be a bit of a gap in the market to, mm -hmm. for that 
you know, affordable and, and accessible and tasty, yummy, easy and quick food, mm -hmm. um, which is what you guys are offering. So, yes. Yeah. Um, the other reason why we wanted to be on this side is beach side is a bit, it's a bit different than, than this part of Byron, I think. Yeah. Um, because you have the beach front, the rents are much higher, the yeah. transient crowd is, uh, you know, businesses feel that and they often cater to that. Yeah. Um, here it's not as high, so we can actually invest on the quality, you know, that we don't need to uh, really invest on the volumes, but, uh, you know, we can afford to just sl slow down, look after our regulars and uh, you know maybe takes yeah. that pressure off the operator yeah and um and what sort of clientele are you attracting since you opened here in the, in the byron woolies car park mm -hmm. um we moved to byron a year ago um just to slow down to be away from the city uh, we know about the community uh, in byron so we just wanted to be a part of it so this business actually served to that purpose as well. We wanted to be a part of the community, know these people, locals, and um, you know maybe set some trends for yeah. them, make it a bit more exciting. Um, but also we knew that you know Bondi is, can be quite touristy; it attracts up lots of people. Yeah. So we had to cater to both. Definitely. Um, yet we are very pleasantly surprised that. I would say 70, 80 of our clientele is locals. Locals really, really uh, embraced the whole concept um, and they just kept coming back. And that transient crowd, for some reason, um, they, I think they like the beachfront better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we still have lots of, you know, interesting travelers with lots of stories and guitars in their hands. Yeah, 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 that's uh, Byron. But, <laughs> um, but we have a solid local uh, follower base, which we are, you know, we're really enjoying Definitely. those new relationships. And um, out of interest, because a lot of our clientele, for me anyway, are, are people that have moved up from Sydney and used to working somewhere like like there. Mm -hmm. um, as a business owner of, of a restaurant in Sydney and now one in Byron, mm -hmm. what's the contrast? What is it? Is it just mm -hmm. so different from one another, as far as yeah, I've been thinking about this. <laughs> Last three days I was in Sydney, you know, I, I do regular visits to Bondi. Um, I must admit, two places have a lot of similarities. Yeah, right. Both, you know, really sexy towns, uh, maybe Bondi a bit busier, but um, here I meet a lot of Bondi people ended up moving yeah. to Byron. Just, I think, not losing that touch to that creative, uh, natural life, but yeah. maybe slowing down a little bit and just. Yeah. Uh, have a bit more time uh, uh, to build, you know, connections or experience spirituality. Um, so there are lots of similarities in terms of business doing. Um, I understand there's a bit more. It's a bit more seasonal here. Yeah. Um, uh, that uh, mid mid winter uh, things slow down. Not as much as it used to. Apparently now it's. Yeah. Ongoing. Yeah. yeah, we haven't uh, had our first winter yet, but I have a feeling that um, it's going to be a bit different than Bondi. Yes. Uh, we'll see how, how it goes. That might be a bit different. Um, Rent-wise, it's a bit uh, similar. Yeah, yeah, it's not too far either. I mean, rents That's are high. Rents are high, so yeah. the competition is fierce, particularly in the food industry. There are lots of great uh, establishments around, and yeah. we love operating uh, in this environment. Um, it's the same in Bondi as well. Yeah. I don't know, I don't think, I think Bondi people would feel at home Quite moving similar. here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, that's interesting, isn't it? And good for people to know, you know, if they're moving up here and they think it's firing going to be so different. It is in a lot of ways. It is, of course. But yeah. they'll fit in quite well, like you have. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, obviously, you're on Facebook, Instagram, so you're always updating different things that you're doing. Mm -hmm. And the, what you're doing at the moment on Sundays, tell us about that. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so, um, I personally love uh, building the team and I like seeing the, the qualities every team member brings. Yeah. This amazing uh, mural is one of our staff members, Kepa, ah. uh, made it because she's wow. an artist. She's now painting my surfboard, my oh. minimal, and we're going to put it here. Okay. And it's going to right. be a communal board for whoever wants to eat here, work here. If they want to go for a surf, they'll just grab the surfboard, go and bring it back. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Uh, so one of our. Uh, 
managers uh, Guillaume he's an amazing DJ so it's okay we have to make the most of this perfect so we came up with this uh, Sunday Yamcha uh, uh, sessions um, it's been going on the uh, last couple of weeks lots of fun um, Guillaume sets up his mixers just outside and yeah. starts you know um, playing his he mixes a bit gypsy oriental uh, deep house style wow. uh, music yeah. um, and then we offer a $20 Yamcha uh, because we can and yeah. we want to uh, it's of course we don't have Asian ladies traveling with the carts yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but it's, it's more like a small degustation of uh, maybe six seven highlights of our uh, menu you get lots of small bites it just keeps coming um, and it's a, you know it's a really nice way of chilling out and maybe you know of music yeah. action oh, what a great thing to do on a Sunday yeah, so thank you. definitely keep up to date with what Utku and Leilani are doing with their Facebook Instagram Foxy Lou's located in the Byron Woolies car park next to the bottle shop um, Utku thank you so much for having us here today oh, what a pleasure and, um, and definitely come and meet the guys and and try the food it's amazing <laughs>